Last month, I loaded up all the bikes and headed about 400 miles north to Adam Sandoval's K River Campground in Moyers, Oklahoma for the Stubborn American Rally 2023, one of my favorite events of the year. And uh, day one was eventful, to say the least. Good morning, Bird Braids. We are here at the K River Campground. We got the Battle Donkey, we got the truck, we got the two dirt bikes over there. We're all set up, guys. But uh, today, we're going for a little ride on the Indian Trail Highway and uh, the road to Honobia? Honobia? I should probably figure out how to pronounce that. Anyways, let's get on the road. We just got done with the, uh, I believe it's called Indian Trail or maybe just Indian Highway right here in uh, Southern Oklahoma. Guys, that might be one of the best roads I've ever ridden. I enjoyed that more than the Pig Trail for sure, which is crazy because I'd never even heard of it until coming up here, but it's the perfect amount of technicality. The pavement is damn near racetrack perfect. You get to go up and over that big mountain, so you get to see a bunch of cutout views. Absolutely amazing. If you're ever in this area, ride Indian Trail Highway. Now I'm gonna head into town here and grab a bite to eat, and then uh, head on back to the K River. So the day was going good, almost too good, one might say. I uh, finished passing this van on this straightaway here, and as soon as I left the throttle, it doesn't show up on video at all, but my front end felt very strange. I was getting a weird vibration. Uh, it kind of felt like the bike didn't want to turn. So when I got into the next quote unquote town, I pulled over and inspected the bike and confirmed what I feared. Well, today went from a great day to a shit day quite quickly. Just finished up riding that Indian Trail Highway that I was talking about, how, how great it is. And then uh, I made it about 10, 15 miles after that, and the bike started feeling very funny. So uh, I pulled over to check it and pulled up my uh, tire pressure monitor, and my flat, my front tire is flat. It doesn't look it because they're just rigid tires, but it's got two PSI in it, so like 45 minutes from the campground, like 15 miles from the nearest town, so there's no way I'm making it there. So um, I just started texting some people at the campground saying, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> maybe someone will come get me, maybe I'll have to call a tow truck. I haven't, haven't quite figured it out yet. 
Hey guys, it's the next day. I had a very interesting day yesterday and didn't record hardly any of it because I was just not in a great headspace. <laughs> but the good news is, is that uh, I actually did not have a puncture. My valve stem had broken or rotted or something. So essentially what happened after my last update with you guys is uh, I contacted Adam and said, hey, I'm in Albion, Oklahoma. I'm like 45 miles from the campground. Do you know any, can you recommend any like tow trucks in the area? He's like, I can send one of my guys to go get you. And I was like, cool. Well, my trailer's over next to this tree. So if you want to go grab it, you can do that. He said, sure. So he went, uh, he sent one of his guys to grab my trailer and go pick me up. So while I was waiting for the truck, I was sitting under a tree for the shade. And all of a sudden I hear growling. This town is like population 25. I'm like, there shouldn't be any dogs here. <laughs> So I turn around and there is a pack of three stray dogs, uh, all growling at me, all showing their teeth, all with their little hairs stuck up on the back of their neck. And I'm not gonna lie, I panicked for about three seconds, but then I remembered dogs can pick up on your energy. They probably are just checking you out. Try to be nice. I absolutely love dogs. I adore dogs. They're, they're my favorite animal. I, I love dogs more than people. So I just started, you know, doing the, here baby, come here. And I put my hand out and I started seeing the, the, the snarls go away and the hair lay down and their tails start wagging. I was like, oh, I got him now. Within a few minutes, here's uh, here's what was going on. And uh, these three guys, old 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 guy dogs, they, they kept me company there on the side of the road and uh, really helped improve the mood. Anyways, the guy gets there, we load the bike up on the trailer. Uh, he hauls me 45 miles here back to the campground. We then unhook the trailer from his truck hook it up to my truck so I can drive 30 miles back in the same direction we just came to go visit uh, Chuck's Classic Cycle. Chuck is a friend of the K River and uh, just an all around awesome guy. The salt of the earth dude, I mean, you've definitely met these kind of people in the motorcycle industry. We get to his shop and we find out that it's actually not a puncture. It's not the tire at all. It's actually the valve stem. So instead of charging me probably 300 plus bucks for the tire and the labor and everything like that, I he only tried to charge me 20 bucks, which I thought was ridiculous because his shop rate is like 75 an hour. It easily took half an hour. He saved me on a tire didn't charge me for the tire. So, hey, I'm, I'm vlogging here. <laughs> that was the real fat man with his sick hard vet. I'll, I'll, put a <laughs> I'll put a picture of it here. His mom had this bike built. It's like half Corvette, half Harley, and it's awesome. But anyways, while I was waiting for uh, Chuck to, to finish with the tire, I realized he has a shop dog. And once again, love dogs. It's not just a dog, it's a Border Collie. And Border Collies hold a very special place in my heart. I grew up with Border Collies. They're my absolute favorite breed of dog. And just gave them some pets, got right back in that good mindset. But I got to the campground. I went to go unload the trailer up in the trailer parking and unloaded it, got back in my truck, and I checked my phone. And uh, Vanessa from She Rides Moto had texted me saying, hey, we've got three bikes down in Antlers, which is the next town over. Uh, apparently one of the gas stations in town is selling bad gas. So they got like a couple miles away from the gas station, all the bikes started sputtering and stalling out. So they were able to drain some of it and they got two out of the three bikes running again. But um, CJ from West Wesson Customs, uh, his bike was still not liking it. He's got a built engine, so he doesn't have the fancy sophisticated all uh, ECM and all that. So he was still having some issues. So. I unhooked the trailer and then immediately had to hook it back up to go pick him up in antlers and bring him back. So I literally went from the rescue E to the rescue er in the span of a couple hours. But the motorcycle guys were out for us yesterday. So knocking on wood, we got all of our bad luck out right off the bat and hoping for a good rest of the weekend. The OGs should be here later today. They took off early this morning, so they should be here just just after noon, I think. Man. I love, I love the motorcycle community. <laughs> this, this is a great time.